summer we want to see the Maryland Tide House system. And behind me is our first 32 foot long, 10 foot wide tiny house we've ever built. Wide. And, uh, it's called the Mondo. So this video is going to quickly show you what we're up to and where it's at and these five is and what it'd be like and that you know when you can purchase one. Okay, first things first, let's talk about the name Mondo. Mondo is Italian for Earth, but it's also associated with big and large. If someone in Italy or in Italian says, that's Mondo, they mean big, large, right? And so we thought that was kind of a great name for this model. And uh, we've, over the years, since we've been building tiny houses, we've had a lot of people say, hey, what about 10-foot wide tiny homes? And we never really kind of got into it because, you know, the logistics of hauling them and the wide load and all that. Uh, but the more research we did and the more people we had coming to, say, coming to us saying, hey, we want a 10 foot wide tiny home. We finally caved in and decided it's time to build one. Um, so, yeah, this one is 32 foot wide. I'm sorry. So, yeah, this one is 32 feet long, 10 feet wide, and it's basically an apartment on wheels. Uh, when you get inside and you kind of see the difference when you go up to 10 foot wide, it does make a big difference. So, it's kind of interesting how those two feet make uh, all of that difference in the world in terms of the spaciousness of one of these tiny homes. Okay, so we're standing on the rear side of the home, and if you notice behind us, there's a massive window here that's going to go here. It's four feet tall and five feet wide. And that's something we've kind of got into lately is the massive picture windows. Uh, we built a couple that look like that when you get inside and you see how much you can see from the outside, from the inside, it's pretty amazing. Yeah, we've started incorporating that into a lot of our builds, the large picture windows, and it goes a really, really long way in terms of how much light comes into the home and just how much more spacious it feels. And not only that, if you park your tiny house somewhere where you have views, or like even trees, you know, where you can kind of just see the outside from the inside. It just makes the house feel more cozy. All right, so this is the entry door. We have a full 36 inch door with full glass on the side of it, a 12 inch glass sidewalk over the side of this door. Now we're kind of going inside and show you. Even though this isn't very far along, you better get an idea of what it looks like and how spacious it feels on the inside. Okay, so now we're on the inside of the tiny house, and this is the rear back there where you guys are behind the camera. Uh, that's the rear of the home, and this is the living area. So the living area is huge, and above us is going to be, above the living area will be an optional loft. So you'll be able to put a queen or even king size bed up there, and that would have storage and all kinds of stuff like that. So if you don't, if you need extra storage, if you're a small family, if you want to have a big, huge loft above, you'll be able to put that up there above the living area. Now, it will kind of take away from the height and the grandioseness of the living area, but that's a good trade-off if you need extra stuff. So over on this side is the kitchen area. There's going to be two double windows here, and you'll be able to actually sit here and look out the window. So you have a sitting area here, and then as you go down, I think it's 12 feet more, you'll be able to actually have a whole entire kitchen. We've got the full-size fridge, tons of storage, tons of storage. So you'll have all the way down. It's going to be a full-on kitchen. You can put a range in there if you want, gas range. Um, so the kitchen will have, again, sitting area, be able to look out the window. And you'll have also be able to uh, do basically anything you want to in this kitchen that you can do in a regular home. Okay, so on that side was the kitchen area. On this side, all the way down, we'll come right here, 14 feet or so. Uh, there's going to be, it's either 12 or 14 feet, there's going to be a full on bathroom. So the bathroom's going to have all kinds of storage, washer and dryer, huge shower, um, full size toilet, big vanity. Uh, so this will be a, definitely an amazing bathroom area for a time. So now we are in the front part of the house, which is where there'll be a full-on bedroom here. Uh, so the bedroom will have an actual full closed door, it'll go all the way up. It'll actually even have a separate mini split head in there. So that way you'll have to be able to condition the heat or cool the main area of the house and also this area of the house will be different temperatures. Uh, the main reason to do that is if you have the door closed, you still want to be able to get heating and cool. So that'll be in there. Uh, on this side, there'll be a closet that spans the whole entire length of the bedroom, which is 10 by 10. So 10 by 10 is the size of some small bedrooms in actual homes, so it's a decent sized bedroom. And uh, I misspoke earlier, I said the washer and dryer will be in the bathroom, I meant to say the washer and dryer will be in the closet in the bedroom area. So it will be a closet all the way down, tons of storage the whole way, and uh, you'll be able to put a bed over on this side, side tables, it's going to be really nice, I'm excited for you guys to see it. Another thing we've been doing recently is having multi-pitched roofs. Uh, so you can kind of see where the wall, the roof is going to be a little bit different there. It would be less steep on that side. This side would be a little bit steeper. Um, so it just be kind of interesting. So you'd be able to sit in the living room area, sit in the bedroom area, and kind of see the different pitches. And it just looks good from the inside and from the outside. It gives it a little bit more dimension. And, uh, so I think that's going to be really cool. Also, again, this is the bathroom area. So we are going to cut out a huge 3 by 3 uh, window. It will go here in the bathroom area as well. So you're going to have one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine windows in this home. So there's going to be tons of light you're going to see out from the inside of the room. Okay, so that is the 32 by 10 Mondo, our newest model. Really excited to uh, roll this one out for you guys. And we actually can see a floor plan of what this actually looks like. You can email us at build at tinyhouselistings.com and we will take you along to get this up and rolling and get it moving and get it a little bit further along in the process. So if you want to learn more information about our actual builds, go to tinyhouselistings.build. And again, thanks for watching.